After eight years of war, this is what most of Syria looks like. It seems there isn't a building that hasn't been bombed. Instead of bustling cities, there are ghost towns. But life is slowly coming back. So Maya Beruti is visiting her parents in Homs. Like you see, every time I come here, I only see the destruction. And it is very uh, annoying to see this stuff. It is not only the building, also our schools. The governor of Homs province says around 21,000 families have returned. The city's population before the war was just over a million. Once known as the revolution's capital, Homs was recaptured by regime forces in 2014. Since then, the regime Bashar al-Assad has regained control of much of Syria. But he couldn't have done it without his allies, Russia and Iran. And now they're helping to rebuild. But the cost is enormous. The UN says the eight-year-long war has cost Syria $388 billion. The damage caused to roads, homes, and infrastructure is worth $120 billion. And the losses to gross domestic product stand at $268 billion. Reconstruction has begun. This is Aleppo, Syria's second largest city, and before the war, its industrial and financial center. Much of the city was destroyed in fighting between the military and rebels. We didn't have jobs since 2011. All stone workers were jobless. Some emigrated, some went to other provinces. And now they have returned and there is work in the city. And God willing, we will rebuild all of old Aleppo. A major obstacle to rebuilding is a lack of workers. There just aren't enough people. Half a million are estimated to have been killed in the war. Around 12 million, half of Syria's population, have been forced from their homes. Six million of those have left the country. And the rebuilding of Syria can't be separated from the politics of the war. The sweeping US and European Union sanctions are a major problem. American companies and individuals are banned from doing business in Syria. And the assets of senior government figures have been frozen. But Syria's friends are trying to work around this. This is a trade fair in Damascus, aimed at attracting investment. The biggest companies here are Iranian and Russian. Our company is ready to provide uh, all the catalysts, all the technology that Syrian customers cannot get because of these sanctions. And of course, they're still fighting in parts of Syria. The opposition still controls Idlib province, and US-backed forces hold northeastern Syria. But as Assad consolidates his grip, a degree of normalcy is returning to the capital, Damascus. The UAE and Bahrain have reopened their embassies, and Sudan's president, Omar al-Bashir, visited recently. He's the first Arab leader to do so since 2011. But will investment from Russia and Iran be enough to rebuild Syria? Or do all parties involved in the war have a responsibility to take part in the rebuilding? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.